Good evening everyone. So I've had a few saws arrive in the last few days that I won't be able to spend any time on because of all my existing ongoing projects and so they're all going to go up for sale while I work on the older saws. So this is one very interesting saw I wanted to show everybody tonight. It's unlabeled but I believe I would say I'm pretty sure it's a John Seard 621, so a 19, early 1970 saw, I think up to 1980, 82, and so there's a lot going for it and some other things that aren't quite so good about it. So I thought I'd do a quick camera overview and then I'll show you how she attempts to run. Okay, so let's look at the pluses as we go round it. So has an excellent top, great condition, no brakes on it as far as I can see, and unusual to have the little knuckle guard as well, so that's really nice. The main handles, good condition. The pull start housing in, I would have said, excellent condition. Looks, looks good condition all the way around. The pull start housing, all the screws are in. Um, I'll pull it over in a minute. Okay, it has the original filler caps. Air filters present. So there's the kill switch and choke. Little serial number badge. So the rear handle has had multiple breaks and multiple attempted repairs on it. So it's nice to have the little plastic finishing trim for the hand guard at the back. AV mounts are present. But the handle is broken here and has a strengthening piece put in underneath and it's broken on the top and has had two little almost like little metal mechano strips or two pieces of mild steel plate steel screwed in place okay so around to the side top AV mounts are present tiny little crack here they often go there where the handle clamps in but the actual mount itself looks good no brakes to the side cover, both the chain guide plates are present, the rim sprocket is present, and the, the side cover has no brakes, and a gorgeous uh, nose wheel guide bar. Now it's un... I can't see a brand on it, but these two distinctive cutouts uh, lead me to believe that that is a, a Sandvik Swedish bar as well. Beautiful. Just I, I love the Sandvik or the these vintage nose wheel bars. So different to a sprocket wheel at the front as there's no teeth in there so it could run a, a 3 8 or a 4 or whatever the, the necessary chain is. Um, around to the front, the original felling spike present and the exhaust has had some brazing and a repair and all the way around. And very clean on the underside. Here you go again in this broken handle at the back. Okay, let's put the camera on the stand and I'll show you how she attempts to run. It was bought as a non-runner. Guys, I'm not even ready. Let me just bring that here. guys. Okay, so bought as a non-runner, had a very cheap spark plug in it and taken the spark plug out, put another spark plug in it. Okay, what are the three things I've done? Had old fuel drained and flushed out the tank, then blew the tank out. And the fuel filter had perished and there was debris in the tank, so I have put another filter on it and taken off the plug and put another plug in it. Okay, and this is how she starts. So, kill switch, everything appears to be working. Um, the saw has really good compression, but will start, but doesn't want to idle. And that's the test I've done. So let me show you. Oh. 
So if you let the revs drop, it will just simply cut out. So I don't know whether or not debris has gone up from the filter which was dissolving is dragged up into the carburetor or so that's the test that's been done. So obviously it seems to spark okay and has switch that off. Seems to have really good compression, but just revs out but does not want to tick over. So I guess that could be a, a myriad of things. I guess you'd have to start with the fueling system first. <laughs> cuts out there we go so hopefully offers a wealth of spares for somebody and in terms of what she's missing in terms of component wise now she's just missing a so I, I'm pretty sure this is a 3 8 pitch chain so I put you know she's missing a chain um, the rim sprocket is there the clutch looks like it's spinning and engaging felling spike so there's a wealth of spares around the engine lovely have the top cover Nice pull start housing, um, obviously a coil sparking. So a great set of spares, or maybe if you have one already, it's it's broken. Maybe this is a great donor saw and a great project to do back up. They're becoming incredibly com um, collectible. They're amazing saws to use. So the 621 is a uh, 56cc saw and they make around the 2.6 kilowatt I think um, 2.6 2.65 I think is the um, is one reference for them another reference states them as two and a half kilowatt so I guess that puts them three and a half ish horsepower three and a quarter three and a half horsepower right let me start it one more time so you can see drop a lot kill switch <laughs> Okay, so she seems to start uh, really, really well, but obviously has um, an underlying issue or underlying issues. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. That's the John Seared, I believe, 621. I believe. I think it's the 621. And hopefully, see if one of you guys out there. I've got a few other ones to do tonight as well, so I shall get on with those now. Any questions, guys, please just ask. Bye for now.